MEXC, the crypto exchange that's been around since 2018, is your gateway to a diverse array of low-cap cryptocurrencies. But that's not all. We're talking about those hidden gems that haven't even landed on the radar of larger exchanges. In today's 2024 tutorial, I'm gonna be your guide through the ins and outs of MEXC. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do before you begin is to register an account and you can do that by simply scanning my QR code or using the registration link provided in both the pinned comment of this video or the description. At the moment I become a Mexi affiliate and as part of this I'm offering you the chance to win $100 in USDT by simply registering using my ref code, placing a future trade and following me on X. It's that simple. Okay, so after we register, the next thing that we need to do is to deposit. Okay, we go to wallets and then we click on deposit. On the deposit page, we've got different cryptocurrencies available. USDT Tether is one of the options here that shows up for us by default. What we then need to do is we need to select a network. So we've got different options from Tron, to Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Algorand, Matic, Polygon. We've got Arbitrum, Solana and more. Some of them are suspended, as you can see here. If a network is suspended, then you obviously can't select it yet until the suspended label is removed. Let's say, for example, you wanted to select Binance Smart Chain. So you just click Binance Smart Chain. Now what it tells you here is that you can deposit your spot account. Your spot account is where you can purchase cryptocurrencies that you can hold. So what you have to do next is you need to generate an address in order to deposit. Once you do that, you've got your BNB Smart Chain BP20 address where you can deposit to. Okay, so if you've got USDT on Binance Smart Chain, you can deposit to this specific address. You can copy it by clicking on this option here and then it'll save it in the clipboard. You can paste it in your wallet or on a different exchange in the withdrawal section if you wanted to deposit to MEXC. In order to withdraw from the exchange, we go to wallets then we select the withdraw. We select the cryptocurrency that we want to withdraw. Let's say for example, it's USDT. And then we enter the address that we want to withdraw to. This could be your personal wallet address or it could be another exchange's address. We select the network. Once again, as you can see, we've got all the different options available and it even tells us what the expected fees are depending on the network. We select the network, we paste the address, and then we simply confirm it. There's also an option to buy crypto if you're interested. So if you just go to buy crypto on the top left hand corner on MEXC, we've got options from debit to credit card, global bank transfer via SEPA, quick buy and sell, P2P trading as well, and also MEXC MasterCard. If for example, you wanted to purchase USDT with Euro, if you're in Europe, then you need to make sure that you complete advanced KYC. What this actually means is that you need to submit your documents in order to use fiat services. You just click on the verify now button and you follow the procedure. It tells you how many USDT you can expect. Of course, they do cover a fee as well. And then you add your bank card here. So it is pretty simple. Then you just click buy now and you're done. There are also options like bank transfer, express, P2P, and third party. Once you've got USDT on your account or maybe Ethereum or maybe Bitcoin, you simply go to spot and you select the spot option. In the spot option, you can see the different markets that are available. Okay, here we've got a favorites tab, a USDT tab, USDC tab. These are all stable coins. Then you've got Ethereum, Bitcoin and TUSD, which is another stable coin. Let's say, for example, you wanted to search for a specific cryptocurrency on the USDT pair. Let's say, for example, DOT. You type DOT, you choose DOT USDT, and here it shows you the Polkadot chart. The green section shows us the buy orders and the red section shows us the sell orders. We're on the limit order tab here, as we can see. So if, for example, I wanted to purchase DOT at the highest buy order price of 747, I would just select 747 and then I could drag the cursor here which would tell me how much of my USDT do I wanna buy DOT worth of. So if I wanna buy it worth 100% of my USDT, which is 472.5 in this case, then it tells me that I can get 0.63 DOT. I just click on buy DOT here and it would add the order in the open order section until it gets filled. The same if I wanna sell. If I wanna sell DOT, I can just select the price on the lowest sell order from the book here. And then I would just enter the amount that I want to sell. I would click on sell dot and then you would add the open order until it gets filled. 
Now, if you don't want to wait for limit orders to get filled, the other option is to go to market. Now, if you wanted to buy DOT at the market price, it would just look at the lowest available market price in the order book, which is in the red section. So it would buy it at 7.46, depending on how quickly we click the button. If we wanted to sell DOT, it would sell it at the highest buy order amount in the order book so it would just be the reverse there's also the stop limit option okay so what this actually means is that you can set a limit at a specific price so for example if the price of dot was to reach let's say for example 744.8 you want to trigger a limit order at maybe 744.2 so your limit order would not be placed until the trigger price is triggered and the same if you want to sell it you choose the trigger price the amount that you want to set the limit order at the amount and then you just click on sell dot now there's another feature here called the mx zone mx is the native token of MaxC, and 40 percent of the profits on MaxC will be used to burn mx and currently MX tokens are used in various scenarios such as launch pads kickstarter new token listings voting and trading fee deduction there are also exclusive events that you can take part of if you hold MX tokens. And here you can see what the total supply is and how much has been burned so far. It even tells you what the APY is and all the different launch pads that are available and how you can participate in them by simply clicking the participate now button if you happen to hold MX tokens. Some of the other MX privileges that you got if you decide to hold MX tokens is that you can get up to 50% off trading fees and also an increased commission ratio if you invite your friends. One of the other features that's interesting here is called the perpetual futures feature, okay? Here we've got two different options, the USDTM or the CoinM. Most people decide to use the USDT perpetual because it is simpler, because it is pegged to the US dollar. And so here we can see that it does look pretty similar to the spot trading book, except the difference here is that we've got different types of futures trading what this actually means is that it allows us to trade with more capital than we actually have available this one is called an isolated margin order and what this means is that you can open a single position on this specific pair and it doesn't impact your other positions in other pairs so let's say for example i wanted to trade at 10x i could change the leverage here and i could click on confirm and here it tells me that my leverage is 10x so now i could use $16.72 instead of $1.67 to be able to trade DOT if I would be interested. So I simply enter the quantity here. As you can see, it even tells me that this is how much I can buy DOT for if I buy long. All I have to do then is I can just click on open long and it will open up the position for me if it fills. Or what I could do is I could add the take profit and stop loss as well before I click on open long. So what this actually lets me do is it lets me choose a specific price target to take profit if the price goes in my favor or set a stop loss if it goes against me to limit my losses so that I don't get liquidated. This is specifically important when you decide to do leverage trading and I can't stress this enough. Also, I don't suggest leverage trading if you're a beginner. You should definitely learn with very, very small amounts or maybe even with a demo account so that you don't actually risk real money. The other option is to open a short if I believe that the price of DOT will keep on dropping. What I can do is I can do exactly the same. I set the amount, the lowest amount that I've got here, so I can just select that amount. Then I just click on open short and then it'll add it in the open position. But before that, I can also set a stake profit and a stop loss price. So a take profit if the price goes lower at a specific lower target, and a stop loss at a higher target in case it goes against me and it goes up higher. Now there's also the option of cross margin. What cross margin actually does is that it shares the margin across all the different positions. In the event of liquidation, traders might lose all the margin and positions settled using this asset. So what that basically means is that open up different positions for different pairs. And then if I'm in profit with one of the positions, but I'm losing on the second position, then it would take some of that profit from the open position in order to cover for the loss in the other position if I'm about to be liquidated. So it is pretty interesting, but it's also risky because it can mean that it can close my other position. Copy trade is another interesting feature that is available here. So what Mexi copy trade is, is, is it allows you to copy professional traders strategy to earn more. Now, if you're not a trader yourself, but you want to copy their strategy, there's a list of top traders here and you can see how profitable they've been or if there have been a lot of loss. And the majority of these are doing pretty well. You can see what the total PNL is. 102,000 for this one, for example, this is the number one. And just in the seven days alone, 
they've already earned $991. So that's a 24.3% ROI in the seven days alone and 21.22% ROI in total with a total win rate of 66.2%. This one here has a bigger win rate of 84.93%, whereas this one has a 57.2%, so it is lower. Now, I don't personally follow any of these, but there is an option to do so if you are interested. Now, if you want to transfer from your spot account to the leverage account and vice versa, you simply click on the transfer button here here in the spot wallet section you go to transfer you choose where to transfer from so from spot to futures you choose the specific cryptocurrency that you want to transfer you select the quantity and you click the transfer button mexi also have different options available such as savings if you decide to save your crypto to be able to earn on top of that kind of like staking rewards and also Mexi loans if you want to get loans in crypto directly from Mexi exchange. Kind reminder, if you haven't already done so, make sure to use my QR code or use the link in the pinned comment of this video in order to register for a Mexi account and to possibly win a $100 USDT bonus for trading on futures. That was it from today's tutorial. I hope you found this informative. And if you did, you know what to do. I'll catch you in the next one.